Hello everyone, welcome back to Epify Live and this is an ongoing series, you know, how we are doing a lot of land videos for stack development tutorial series and we have been learning Vuex in the last two videos and we will continue with the Vuex. And if you guys have not subscribed this channel, go ahead and subscribe and because we are going to have a lot of cool videos and series coming on. And if you have questions, don't forget to uh, join our Facebook group for free support and I will try to help you guys uh, with as much um, um, as much as I can okay so let's get started so we have done up to this part and we have three components and we were um, updating them uh, uh, directly and mutating them now let's talk about how we can do the update things uh, in a very professional way uh, using action dispatch and mutation and we will be also using a lot of cool things and yeah i will uh, show you a few things that you can uh, have uh, um, you can learn yourself by just going to the doc okay okay so let's go ahead and start um, the project with the vuex uh, folder from the vx folder we have this component called user com use com so yeah that is the one we are trying to learn so instead of um, accessing the um, counter like this let's uh, access the counter in a very good way okay so uh, let's go ahead in our um, uh, store and then let's have a getters okay so getters are something which helps to uh, to get the data okay so it's very simple uh, it's just a pure function uh, nothing uh, complicated here uh, you can write anything get counter so you need to pass the state on the current state and then that's done so you can actually pass okay return state dot counter okay and in my last video the problem uh, the mistake we did was the spelling of this counter it is con counter i don't know what does that mean but yeah let's go ahead with this um, misspelled character okay so what is the uses of this uh, get counter why should you just return okay let's say you want to have some logic let's say okay uh let's say you want to have if uh, state the counter is uh, greater than 100 then return oh my god this is big okay so you know you, you can have a lot of functionalities here uh, based on only one single counter so you can have a huge amount of uh, functions you can have your different function get counter get counter um divide you can divide the counter so if you want to get the half so you can uh, let's say this one says this thing said maybe you can return okay that's um that is small perfect or maybe you want to have another counter um get counter by half so what is the uses of it so you just return uh, return um state dot counter by two okay so that means you will get the half of the counter so you can use this one counter and can use this very uh, different getters uh, to uh, manipulate your data okay that is the uh, beauty of these things okay you can have your list of items and you can um, do some filterings and you can return the data the way you want so that is the reason why we need the com getters so that's really useful but for now we are just returning the counter simply by uh, doing this getters okay so we have a getter get counter so let's see how we have we can use that getter nicely so we have to uh, use something called map getters so this is you have map mutation map getters map uh, map action map mutation map getter map state we don't need all of them we just uh, mostly we will use map getters okay for making your code um, more nicer you can use um, mutation and all other things but I'm not going to use that I will show you though how you can use that okay <clears throat> okay so that's perfect so what we have to do is that you have to have a computed here computed property here and then uh, let's see how this computer is written maybe this is the way it's written so okay so never mind for that uh, you have to write map getters and here so you can define it a different way so you can uh, simply name it get counter so you have to write it uh, this way and you will be able to use that now okay get counter so instead of uh, using like this you can just simply uh, use that okay so this is the simplicity okay it's just like a local variable it's just like something defining here okay so it's simple okay it's uh, uh, it's really cool now let's go ahead and uh, we are using in the master um, yeah let's see how it affect now 
and then we will see actually how we can uh, make it a custom name so you see we have this counter correctly defined here so it's all working fine and now let's go ahead and let's see one uh, this is the function it's for your naming convention let's say get counter doesn't make any sense to you you want to override the naming so how do you do that so let's go ahead you have to do some you, instead of passing an area you have to define an object so you have to say okay this is my counter my own custom variable and then you write the function okay the function name you have defined here and then you have to write it here and this is your custom uh, variable okay so now i will get an error because we don't have anything called get counter so let's go ahead and uh, face the error okay so get counter is not defined and we don't have any values up there okay that's perfect so we have now a custom variable name counter and we will be able to use that anyway uh, okay, so it was not refreshed. So welcome. Uh, it's working. It's all working fine. And yeah, so that's super cool. And in all of your um, uh, areas, uh, in, or I mean, uh, um, instead of using this way, if, if you want to use the counter, uh, just the counter. So you know what you need to do. You have to use the map getters from the map mutation. You have to dictate the computed and then you will get us. Okay, this is how you do it. Okay, so I'm not going to do that uh, for you because this is simple. You just need to copy these things and this one. Okay, that's the, that's the thing you just need to do. So let's move on and now instead of uh, making a commit, uh, how we can do an action instead. So let's go ahead and do the action. So. Uh, let me go to the uh, view X okay so how you can do the actions okay and you can have action as simply as simple as that and uh, let's try out we uh, simple uh, action so how you do, uh, you see in uh, in the commit you need to write commit but for action what you have to do is just do this this dot store dot dispatch okay and you, you need to run um right direction name okay change counter you can name anything that's all you need to do and here in your store yeah we have a mutation in your inner store you have something called action um it's just a simple things action here you have the uh, you can have your commit and you can have your data payload okay that's all so yeah that's all now if I uh, do the console.log the commit what you will get here let me show you and let's go ahead everything you should see what happens counter is not defined instead okay I think I have uh, used the counter in somewhere yeah, so it's not defined because I have not added the getters. Let's remove the console. You see, we have the commit, okay? And yeah, so let's call the uh, commit. Let's see how it is called. So you just need to pass up, uh, so you need to just call commit. And then you just need to do like this, uh, commit and what is your commit uh, function name and that is the function name and you just need to pass the data so it will trigger this one and this one will change this one okay let's see if it works refresh the page so all working fine so let me show you how it, all these things works so first of all we are dispatching an action instead of uh, committing directly okay what's the difference between committing directly or uh, making an action so fundamental difference is uh, the commit uh, here the mutation functions are not asynchronous but they are asynchronous you can call your api and you can uh, make a wide async uh, async await functions here and you can call that okay and then this can will uh, update your state and the best thing is that if your application gets bigger and bigger you can track uh, you can get a track um, i mean you can track uh, what is going on which mutation is uh, overriding which data and you can actually um, uh, follow everything okay so this is the standard procedure just making an action um, dispatching an action and then this action uh, here you see I have called an action first and this action is calling a commit 
function. So this is, uh, we are calling this one, commit this. And this one is actually executing uh, or increasing the counter bit, okay? And this one is getting, so everything is uh, happening is as, uh, uh, instantly, okay? So that's really perfect, guys, and I hope it helps. And I want to touch something uh, which I have never done before. So let me go ahead and let me try to see that. Actually, honestly saying, I have never tested that, okay? So let me see here. I don't know what uh, should happen here. Just testing. I'm increasing the value here. You see, I have two types with the same data. And if I increase here, and let's see what happens here. Okay, it doesn't update because uh, the state is not in this tab. Okay, so it's uh, uh, tab specific. Okay, so my test is over. Uh, yeah, that was a confusion. Okay, guys, so yeah, you see mm, uh, asynchronous action, so you can have your own code, but you this kind of code you cannot have in the commit. And yeah, see in action, you can have a lot of code, a lot of uh, things running, and you can call multiple commits uh, based on your logic. And yes, yeah, so if you want to use your uh, action sim uh, simply just like in uh, method, you have to use a map action. And then uh, in the method, you have to do the map uh, uh, actions, okay? So it's simply exactly simple, like uh, as simple as like uh, how we did for getters. So if you want to have your uh, action names uh, nicely, so what you can do is we can add map um, map actions. So you can import the map action. So uh, in map action, it's simply just like methods. So that's nothing different. Um, you can have this one and you can have an array okay so you can have a map action map action so simple uh, simply like that and then uh, you can pass an array or an object okay so let's pass an X uh, array first and our uh, action name is this one so what we can do is we can just uh, change counter action okay so yeah that uh, that can be done also and um, yes, so the uh, these things are really nicely documented here. You can guys easily go ahead and uh, understand. But the basic uh, fundamental theory is important: how uh, the data flow works and how everything uh, works all together. You just need to uh, know. And yeah, so similarly, this is how map action is done. And then you can you have uh, map mutation. Similarly, you can call the mutation directly in a nicer way. But I don't personally like this way simply just because um, it had lots of uh, extra code. So I just can simply call the store or dispatch, and then I can call the function. So it looks much easier for me uh, instead of using. But I ha I definitely use this way for the getters so that I can use them because you can use a lot of areas. So users are a lot uh, are bigger. So yeah, you can uh, call your action simply like that, or you can simply um called in a in your own way okay here let me see if we have anything so we have modules way and i'm not going to show you how this module things work if you want to learn a bigger modular way i have a repository with laravel uh uh laravel and view setup for the repository so you can uh, have a look how a complex architecture works. So you can go to my GitHub profile and you can see we I have one Laravel, Laravel V module set up. So you can guys can go ahead and uh, see this uh, complex modular setup. So this is only for the advanced uh, developers. So if you think you are ready, uh, you can go ahead and do some complex stuff. Okay, I'm not going to show that. I have a video made for on that uh, particular topics. Okay, guys. So uh, so we for that add for that and I hope you guys know how to dispatch an action how to commit an action how to commit and how how you uh, can update okay so in from the next videos I will not show you any VUX things and I hope you guys uh, understand uh, the basic of VUX and that is literally all actually so you don't have to use a lot of things to make your application nicer you just need the basic stuff and then you just um, uh, uh, happen to know uh, things as you develop okay so 
my only focus is that okay learn things as you develop okay so first of all you just need to focus on understanding the fundamental theory fundamental basic and then once you are good at that so you can move on and create your own applications okay so <coughs> So guys, let me know if you have any question regarding this VUX and I will try to help you guys as much as I can, okay? And yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and share this video as much as you can. Have a nice time guys. See you soon.